Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ariella and I make videos mostly about medical school, but sometimes I get carried away on the Lululemon website, especially since I've joined the Lululemon Reddit community. And I might have given myself a pretty hefty present. So I went on there to look for some things for running as well as hiking because I knew I was going to be moving to New Hampshire for the majority of the summer. And so I wanted things to be able to go on long hikes in because New England is so beautiful in the summer and I just wanted to experience it as much as possible. So I got a lot of stuff for that as well as just some lounge clothes. So because there's so much, like literally so much, I'll insert a clip here so you can see how actually ridiculous I am. If you're my mom, please don't yell at me. I think the best course of action would be to break this up into two different videos. In today's video, I'm gonna do all the bottoms and then in the next video, I will go over the tops and other things that I got also from American Eagle and from some other stores. And yeah, so I have my iPad here so I can give you all the exact colors and styles and sizes of each thing that I got. And without further ado, let's just get into my Lululemon haul. Okay, so. The first thing that I got that has changed the game, like absolutely changed the game, are the dance studio joggers. So you'll be able to see them in the try on, but here's just what the top of them looks like. I got these in a size eight and I got them in three different colors. So this color is the color chambray. It's like a really light periwinkle blue color. I also got them in one of my favorite colors, Tidewater Teal. And then lastly, I picked them up in Garnet. So, oh, I forgot to mention a lot of this stuff is from the We Made Too Much section. So if it is still there, I will definitely be sure to link the We Made Too Much exact color down below. But if they don't have that and if it's not in the We Made Too Much anymore, I will link the like plain colors of the product. So at least if you're interested in it, you can go see what different colors they have. And if you're looking for a specific color that isn't a neutral color, I would highly recommend waiting for a little bit because a lot of the time those unique colors do go to the sale section. So yeah, let's talk about why I love these joggers so much. So I think I said I did size up to a size eight and that was because I knew that these ran a little bit small from asking people on the Reddit community. And so I wanted them to be looser on my legs because I know that even if I sized up one size it was probably going to be a little tight on my glutes because I have larger glutes so the size 8 was perfect for me the waistband actually isn't huge it's pretty snug fitting I do have a little bit of room in the back and that tends to be where I have my gapping issues this is like right in the back but it's not a big deal because obviously there is a drawstring and the details of these pants are just fantastic so they're a high-waisted fit they're a lovely kind of almost windbreakery, but much softer than a windbreaker material. In terms of the fabric, there's also a very, very faint linear design. It's like a vertical line, and that really helps to elongate the legs, I feel like. It's just an extremely flattering fit. So they're super lightweight. They're gonna be fantastic for hiking. I like to wear long pants while I'm hiking, especially up here in New England, because there are lots of ticks. And so the best thing you can do to prevent the ticks from biting you in the first place is to always wear long pants when you go walking or hiking. Ticks like to jump from the grass onto your legs, so that's how a lot of people get them. So these are gonna be perfect for that because they're so lightweight, they're not gonna be too hot, but they are also long. They've got a little, um, what's this called? Cuff at the bottom, again, to like keep it nice and tight. Additionally, on the, is this right? No, on the left-sided pocket, there's an even smaller zipper pocket within the pocket. So I feel like that would be perfect if I wanted to put like my AirPods case or my keys in there, and then you have the normal large pockets. So I've tried tons of joggers from Lululemon. I've tried the Align joggers. I've tried the Ready to Rulu joggers. I tried the original on the fly pants joggers in um, the woven fabric, and none of them were very flattering on me at all but these are my absolute new favorite. I'm so glad I tried them and I'm so glad I picked up the We Made Too Much colors and they ended up fitting the way I wanted them to. That's the first type of pants that I got. So we're just gonna throw those right over there. 
So like I said, I had tried the on the fly pant in the woven material before and I found it extremely unflattering and I was also trying a size up, I think, which is weird because the size up in the dance studio jogger fit me really, really well, but in terms of the on the fly pant, I'm actually pretty fine with sticking to my true size. So these are the on the fly pants that I got. They're in the color ink blue. This was a really popular color. Um, it was in the We Made Too Much section in a lot of different styles and I'm so glad I picked them up because I think this color is gorgeous. So the first mistake that I made when I was trying the original on the fly pant was that I sized up. The second mistake that I made was that I didn't try the Luxstream ones. So the Luxstream is going to be, it's a little thicker than what the dance studio jogger is made out of, which I don't actually know what that fabric is but I'm sure it probably says it on the tag you probably saw it this is a 7 8 pant so the 7 8 pant in the on the fly is a 28 inch inseam which seems like it would be too long but it actually hits me at the perfect spot like I said I like to keep my ankles covered when I go hiking and that's what I intended to use these for so the ticks can't jump onto my legs and so these definitely fit me a little bit tighter they're somewhere between like a pant and a legging they're not that loose flowy style that the dance studio jogger was but I do really enjoy these. I also think they would be really good for work. You can definitely dress these up and make them look a lot nicer. Not that they aren't nice, but you can make them look a lot more professional. So again, in terms of the details, you've got two very large pockets, which is really nice. Pockets are the best. The pockets have a mesh lining on the inside, which you can reach into on the right side and I think on the left as well. Oh no, um, it's only on the right. Man, I'm like really bad at left and right. So there is a small mesh pocket. This one doesn't have a zipper like the dance studio does, but you can like slip something small into there, which is nice. No cuff at the bottom because these are the pants, but they do come in a jogger style. So these are great as well. I think I'm going to go to the shorts next. So my shorts, I actually got the on the fly joggers in the short version. So these are the on the fly short in the 2.5 inch seam in black. So these I did not get on the We Made Too Much because black never goes on sale at Lululemon. If you see something that you want and you want it in a neutral color, I would recommend just going and getting it because it's not worth wasting your time waiting for it to go on sale. It pretty much never will. So these are in the Luxstream fabric as well. In terms of the fabrics for the on the flies, I much prefer the Luxstream just because it feels like it's going to be a more durable material. It's not gonna pill and it's gonna be nice and cool. I got these in a size eight. If you have seen my Lululemon videos before, I always size up in my shorts because I have a larger hips and larger thighs so I really need to size up in these. I didn't think these were gonna work for me. I thought the 2.5, inch inseam is there's absolutely no way but these actually are fantastic they cover my butt which is <laughs> a plus and they're really really comfortable this is more of a lounge slash everyday short I probably wouldn't work out in these um, I might take them on a hike if I feel like there's not like a lot of grass around I don't know I'm kind of paranoid about insects again these have the pockets and then on the right sided pocket there is a smaller mesh pocket love these they're fantastic I and mean, I love everything that I got basically but <laughs> if you have larger legs and larger hips I would probably recommend at least sizing up in the shorts I can't speak for the pants or the joggers because I bought my true to size fit I think they probably would fit if I sized up kind of depends on what you're gonna use them for and what you prefer but I think you can pretty safely size up one size in the on the flies if you're between sizes I'm pretty much between a size six and an eight so in a rambling so these are potentially the only things that I might be a little disappointed with not at the fault of the construction they're constructed very well they're really nice shorts but just based on the fact that I have larger thighs they don't look as flattering on me as I would have liked I bought them at the recommendation of someone on YouTube I'll try and find the video and link it down below I believe her name's Kylie and she was talking about her favorite activewear and these shorts were on there and she definitely has a more muscular build so I thought that they might fit me but she also has narrower hips so I should have seen this coming I'm still gonna keep them because they're really comfortable but just keep in mind that that might be something that you run into these are the find your pay short 
three inch line shorts and so I saw these on the website and they disappear and come back on the website all the time so if you don't see them just wait but if you really want them I would snatch them up because they go fast so I have them in this maroon it's called Cassius I think Cassius and then I also just got them in the plain black so these shorts are lined, but the entire fabric of the shorts are mesh, which is really, really nice when it's hot outside. They're super breathable, and the waistband is like pretty small and comfortable. They are high-waisted fit, but they're probably not gonna have a lot of tummy compression just because this waistband is so thin in terms of like its vertical height. But I really wanted these to be comfortable and I find that sometimes when I'm sitting down, something that's super high-waisted tends to bunch up and be a little bit uncomfortable, so I actually don't mind that. Again, there is a small mesh pocket on the back of the waistband. It's on the inside of the short right here. And the only downside I have with these shorts is that this flap right here, they kind of cross the front and the back flaps of the shorts and my thighs really just like stick right out of this flap. So they look really short on my thighs. If you had smaller legs, they would probably work a lot better for you. And I find that because the length on the back is longer than the front, the back silhouette is really flattering, but from the front, they're just not as flattering as I would have liked. Like I said, I will probably be keeping these anyway, just because they're super comfortable and I'll enjoy wearing them lounging. Yeah, if you have a larger lower body, these might not work for you. I would say they just barely work for me. Like on the edge of I'm a little bit uncomfortable, I probably wouldn't wear them out. They also have this nice reflective detail on the sides, which I think is pretty cute. I forgot to mention that in the Find Your Pace shorts, I did size up to a size eight and they were still just like a little bit too small in the thigh area. So the last pair of shorts that I got is actually a pair of bike shorts. Look at this color. This is part of the reason why I made the order in the first place because I loved this color so much. You'll see I have more. So these are the Invigorate High Rise Short in the 10 inch inseam. And I got these because I had the Fast and Freeze in the algae green if you guys saw my last haul video. And they were still just a little bit too short. I mentioned it in a vlog that the six inches, I still have a little bit of chafing between my thighs. And so it wasn't very comfortable to run in. I would probably still wear those for other activities like weightlifting and things like that. But in terms of running, I just don't have the space between my thighs for that not to be an issue. So I figured why not go all the way to the 10 inch. These are a true size six. They are definitely a compressive fit. These are tight. So I don't mind that when I'm running because because I want them to stay in place. But if that's something that you don't like, if you don't like when waistbands dig in or you don't like a compressive feel to your fabric, then I probably wouldn't recommend these. These are in the Everlux fabric, which I don't think is a new fabric from Lululemon, but I think it is gaining a little bit of traction just because it's more durable than the Nulu fabric that the Aligns are in, so it's probably gonna be less likely to pill. You can use it for high intensity activities, but it's still got a pretty like buttery soft kind of feel to it. I honestly still prefer the Nulu Aligns to this. I don't mind that my Aligns pill. You can always get one of those little pill scrapers or take the Aligns to a Lululemon store and they will do the pill scraping for you. Yeah, and that's just a reality of like walking and having legs is they're gonna pill. So I don't mind that as much. When I tried these on at first, I thought that they were like squeezing the fat around my lower thigh slash knee area in an unflattering way. But looking back at the footage, I actually think it looks totally fine. I think they look really nice. This color is super flattering. They have a small pocket at the center of the back. Again, if you need to keep keys in there. And then they also have the side pockets, which is an absolute necessity for me when I'm buying something for running. I don't think I said the color of the Invigorate shorts, so if I didn't, they're Midnight Orchid. I love Midnight Orchid. Okay, so um, the next part of this haul may give you some insight as to what my current Lululemon pattern obsession is, and that is Diamond Dyes. So. These are the Wonder Train High Rise Tight in a 25 inch inseam. The Wonder Trains, like I said before, are made out of an Everlux material and I got these in a size six. And this is the color Diamond Dye Shade Naval Blue. Okay, so these, let's chat about them. I actually think I still prefer the plain Wonder Under Luxe Stream fabric. I don't know if I really like the Everlux in this type of tight, and I know that's kind of a controversial opinion. I found that they were just a little bit tighter than a traditional Luxe Stream. 
I maybe would have even wanted to size up to a size 8, but I am fine in a size 6. They're just a little bit compressive. I'm sure they'll probably loosen up after several wears, but I mean, they're essentially identical to the Wonder Unders. They have a seamless waistband, but as you probably know, they also come with a drawstring in the middle so that you can tighten it around your waist if you need to during intense training sessions. And yeah, other than that, they're pretty much, in terms of construction, identical to the Wonder Unders. I just, I love everything Diamond Dye. I'm so obsessed with it. <laughs> Clearly. If they made these in a Wonder Under and rather than the Wonder Trains, I probably would have preferred those. I still think these are going to be really nice and I'll probably wear them on more heavy training days. They are a hugged sensation so they aren't going to be as like naked feeling as an Align pant would. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are looking at these for lounging but you don't really like to feel any compression at all. These are probably not going to be for you but I still like to have a little bit of compression even when I'm lounging. And studying I think it doesn't really bother me that much as long as it's not too compressive like an invigorate or something like that yeah so that's number one out of my diamond dye collection here's number two and three <laughs> okay so again with the diamond dyes there's something that come in stock and then immediately go out of stock again but they do occasionally restock them so if you're into one of the diamond dye prints I would highly recommend just checking the website over and over again to see if they come back in stock I didn't buy the diamond dye pink bliss graphite purple purple color which is these and I seriously regretted it so when I saw them back in stock in my size I scooped those up immediately so these are those they're that classic align diamond dye color that everyone and their mother has I love these the only thing is I think with the diamond dye print you get a unique design every time and I have this like weirdly dark dyed section right here on the part that covers my stomach and that isn't the most flattering in the whole world I guess that's kind of the repercussions of ordering online is you don't get to choose the exact product that you get but I don't mind that that much usually that part of my stomach is covered when I'm wearing a line pants so it's not a big deal it's just kind of weird so like I said I have them in this pink color in a size 6 I get all my lines in a size 6 and then I also got Got the diamond dye pitch gray and graphite gray I said in another vlog that I wasn't gonna buy these because I already had a lot of dark colored leggings but I wear my dark camo aligned pants so much I figured these were kind of similar to those and that they could just be another basic so I figured I would get a lot of wear out of these just wear them with a, like a plain top and again these are in a size 6 a line is made out of the Nulu fabric. I'm sure you probably know that already. It's the buttery soft Lululemon fabric that everybody loves. And be aware that if you do decide to order these, it's pretty much inevitable they're going to pill whether or not you wash them perfectly or you throw them in the dryer with every use. They're gonna pill eventually, but taking proper care of the leggings will help so that they last longer. So in terms of basically every Lululemon item, I always wash them with like fabrics. I don't wash them with cotton because that encourages pilling. I wash them on a delicate cycle and usually cool water. I don't use any fabric softener. I use like the plainest, most boring laundry detergent you could possibly find. I don't even use one that has like a ton of fragrance or anything. And then I hang them all to dry. And I've had pretty good luck with pretty much all my Lululemon items. That might be because I have a lot of them, so I'm not wearing even each item as frequently but it is worth noting that that will help maintain the integrity of your Lululemon items so those are all the pants that I got I know it's a lot I have a problem I definitely have a problem last thing I ended up buying a pair of Lululemon socks which <laughs> is probably ridiculous. These are the Tail to Tail Crew Socks from Lululemon. They're in the color black and they're the love edition. I just thought they were really cute. Something that I want to say about these socks is technically according to the size chart because I teeter between a shoe size 8 and a shoe size 8.5, I would have been a large extra large in these socks I think that's how their sizing works but I ended up getting a small medium and they fit perfectly I have really really narrow feet so even though my feet are longer than what is recommended for this sock I got the smaller one because I was worried that if I got the larger one it would just bunch up in the foot area because 
I don't have a wide foot and so this ended up fitting me perfectly. That's just another thing to note about the sizing. I feel like the sizing for the non-traditional items on the website is a little bit confusing so once things open up if you can try things in person I would recommend doing that. I kind of took a gamble on these and they ended up working fine but as you saw on the find your pace shorts it wasn't as successful so you know sometimes you win some you lose some but I really like these socks and I am surprised that I do but I feel like $18 for a really good pair of socks is not actually I mean it is ridiculous but it's not actually that insane assuming that they last literally forever I will keep you guys updated on how these hold up and how they perform so like I said I will link everything down below and if you guys have any questions on like the fit or the feeling of any of these products let me know stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna show you all the tops that I got from Lululemon and I will see you guys in that one bye